so welcome to the phantom wallet masterclass so this is the second video as promised thank you once more for buying my course and um, I'm very sure that you are on your way to to trade and you're on your way to use a lot of um, these features that I've explained so um, what we want to do right now is to learn how to use the phantom wallet so what you want to do is to go to your website and click on um, phantom so like i said in the other video ensure you are clicking the right thing uh, so this is phantom wallet so, so anytime you are doing a search ensure you check so this is phantom.app so this is the platform so click it so one thing i love about the phantom wallet you can also buy your nft and store it inside i always advise try and get an nft it's it's good look for a good nft that um, celebrities are buying of course some of those celebrities are being paid but just look for the ones that are kind of truthful and buy from same nft or just to get your hand dirty you can look for something unique if it is two dollar five dollar ten dollar and just get it and put in your wallet so once you click the phantom dot app what you do is to click on the ad page this is the ad page so once you click the ad page it will bring you to this section that you should add it to so there is an update here that uh, is really exciting it says you can now add extension from the chrome web store to microsoft edge so click on add to chrome that's fantastic so click add to chrome is checking it said the extension can read and change all your data on all websites so i said add so it's checking right now so it's going to download the phantom app so it's downloading right now you can see it at the top is 3.4 mb so once it's downloaded we are going to open our account as app and as we open it similar to that of metamax uh just kind of um unique so to speak so we're going to open it and once everything is done you see the advantage of um, using a web wallet so if you are using phantom on your website you can use the software wallet on your on your mobile so it's actually uh, advisable that you use your software wallet because the phantom wallet is compatible with the with the web so you don't want to get uh, you don't want to conflict the wallet with the other wallet when you want to use on mobile so on mobile you use the software wallet so I'll, I'll i'll do a video also when i'm teaching on how to use the trust wallet so i'll use i'll open a a software wallet for you so guys this is our wallet so just similar to the metamax wallet so here yeah, it's asking if we want to create a new wallet which is yes and the other part is use secret recovery phrase so do you have any secret recovery phrase that you want to use just like i explained if you have a phantom wallet before and you want to import it into this one maybe you change uh, your pc or you change your laptop and you want to open another you want to make use of your wallet so you can use your secret recovery phrase and i explain how you're going to save it so what we want to do right now is to create a new wallet so it creates so this is the new wallet we want to create and it's asking us you see guys it's just similar process it's asking us if we want to it's asking us if we want to save uh so it's asking us to save our secret recovery phrase 
so right now I'm going to use my phone to snap the phrase so that I'll be able to input it when I'm being asked so we have our secret phrase right now so I'm snapping it now so yes yes I've taken a screenshot of it taking a screenshot of it so he said this is the only way you will be able to recover your account please store it somewhere safe so I've saved it so what I want to do is I'll click OK it is saved somewhere so here yeah, you'll be asked to create your your wallet so what you want to do is to create it let's say we want to use a uh, cacafo so let's use cacafo so cacafo so cacafo is our wallet is the password so you can also use it to log in and say cacafo so we say i agree and you click save so it said the wallet is too small so we say cacafo cacafo.com yes cacafo.com cacafo.com yes yes good to go so i click save yes it is saved so the shortcut is alt up arrow key and p so alt shift and p so that is how you pop up the phantom wallet on your browser you just click alt shift p so it continue once you hit continue it gives option you are all done i told you guys the process is just so easy and simple so follow all follow along with the product updates or reach out if you have any question so this is where you follow them on twitter and uh, if you need any questions so what we are going to do right now is to click finish guys <laughs> guys our wallet is ready so now that our wallet is ready what you want to do is to click on the phantom wallet so once you click on the phantom wallet you see the name of your wallet is wallet one so you can change it to your name and then put any amount you want to put so this is it so remember the native token of phantom wallet is so and so is solana so if you want to do any transaction it's advisable you send solana into the phantom wallet and you can swap it to usdc so it is this usdc or you use the so to buy whatever you want to buy why i love using the usdc is one usdc is equivalent to one usdt so i can easily calculate how it works so here is your collection your collectibles that's your nft and this is where you swap you change your soul to usdc this is where you change your this is where you swap it for example if you put one so here one so should give us 181 so solana is currently trading at 181 so it gives 181 units so slippage tolerance is one estimated gas fee is 0 0.3764 so that is how the the swapping is being done once you've moved your solana so this other section is showing your recent activities and here is the settings so this is your display language address book trusted app reset recovery phrase remove wallet show recovery phrase export so this place is this so you want to manage token list so this is where you could add token list, just like what i show you guys on how to add um coin so these are also coin if you want to add you click on this place once you click on this place it will come to this place so you add the mint address just like your ca so let me see if that's okay i think this is uh, 
Okay, this is the Titano coin. So Titano coin is under BSC, so it won't work. Uh, what we can check is let's go to coin market cap coin market cap and let's check for let's check for Solano actually have that coin so we we'll have to copy this contact address of Solana Inu and paste it there so So that's the um, Solana Inu. So this is it here, yeah, Solana Inu. So we are going to copy the. I'm going to copy the contract address here. Yeah. So you see, it's built on um, Solana. So I've copied it here. Yeah. So I'll go to the app. I'll go to the wallet to. So showing before. So okay, it's showing now. So I'll add I'll add the cov the CA to see if the price will pop up because the other one did not pop up because um it is actually Okay, let's do it this way. Oh no. So come back here. And you say add manage token list. So when you manage the token list, once you click the manage the token list, you need to click the plus button. Once you click the plus button, it will bring you to a page where you'll be able to add your so this is where your nfts will be showing and uh, this is where you can swap and this other side is your recent transaction and here is where you manage your wallet so i told you you can actually edit your wallet here you can call it kakafo wallet so this is kakafo wallet yes it's safe now so yeah you can change the language you can change the address book the trusted app you can change your password you can auto lock timer when you are not in use when you are using the the wallet for it to load you can change network they configure your network settings so mainnet testnet local net so using the main net so these are everything you can actually do so with this if you want to deposit your soul, you click deposit and um, this is your address. This one is to add a custom token, so you add so you add the the token the, the token address here and the symbol and everything will pop up. Just like I showed you in the MetaMax. So so this is where you add wallet this is where you go if you need support and help and this is where you lock your wallet say you want to lock your wallet you have to enter password to unlock so the last time we we open it by using kakafo.com that's kakafo.com so so we are in now so the usefulness of all this wallet is to enable you to connect to other trading platforms that are not centralized so for example if you want to trade with radium you have to connect with this phantom wallet to be able to connect with radium so this is how you deposit and send and this is how you make use of your phantom wallet so guys, 
so guys thank you for buying this course and i'm very sure you've learned something new and now you'll be able to make use of your phantom wallet so you'll be able to make use of your phantom wallet so this is where you put your collectibles so collectibles are nft so you click on receive once you click on receive you copy your address here and you paste it on the network on the platform maybe it's open c or is mintable or maybe you are using binance to trade the, um, the binance nft marketplace once you buy your nft you move it to this place and keep your nft for future use and if you want to sell it you can still do same to sell it so this is this is what you copy and before you know your nft will be shown in your collectibles anytime you click collectibles you see all your nft being displayed in this place and you can swap your token you can swap it you can see you can swap it for zero radium uh wrap ethereum you can also buy the marinade steak and you can also search you can also search you can also search for the search so you can you can search also so in case you're searching and is not showing you can use You can use the add token and we add this just ensure that it is um, ethereum based token so so that is all that you need to know about this wallet so here you can add and you can connect you can add and connect wallets so you can create a new wallet you can import private key you can connect add wallet and the rest so with this short video i hope i've uh, been able to teach you on how to use the phantom wallet and uh, with this you are good to go so the next video is how to use the luna wallet which is the tara station so on the on the phone you can use the tara station while on the web you use the the luna web extension so thank you all for watching this video ensure you put it to practice so that you can perfect so that you can become perfect on this industry on this skill set so that at least anything about wallets you'll be able to beat your chest that you can manipulate any platform with your wallet thank you um hope to see you in my next video ensure you watch the next video so that this three part series you will be fine and equipped for the journey ahead thank you